Okay, we're going to take this line here and we're going to revolve it around the x-axis. So the idea is that we take it around the x-axis, revolve around, and it's going to zoom out here and become a 3D object. So it's going to uh, move out along the z-axis. So we're going to get uh, something whose cross-section is like a cylinder. So if we take that and start revolving it around, something like this shape here. And if you see that once we take it all the way around, you get a cone. So again, we've got this line. We revolve it around the x-axis and get a cone. Now, we want to be able to find the volume of this cone. So we're going to take, move along the x-axis. We're going to divide it up into little pieces and get the height at each little piece and then take each of those little pieces and revolve it around. So when you take that piece and revolve it around, it marks out a, a disc or a cylinder of very small height. So we get this very thin cylinder and then we're going to add another one on top and then add another and just keep doing that until we've filled up the whole space. So we've got all these very uh, thin disks stacked on top of one another and that's going to be our approximation for our volume. We can get the volume for each one of those little disks and then the total volume we just add them all up. So our approximation for the uh, volume for the uh, cone is basically the sum of the volumes for each of these disks. So we've got this cone. We want to approximate it. And we should approximate the volume. And the idea is we take this straight line in the xy plane and we revolve it around the x-axis, which gives us the cone. And we can divide that up into individual pieces and find the volume of each one of these very uh, thin cylinders.